Hi friends, welcome to the class of Formal Language and Automata Theory. Coming to the question number 16, construct DFA which accepts set of all strings over A comma B that string starting and ending with different symbol. So what is this concept? Like if the string is starting with A, it should end with B. In between you can have anything or else if it is starting with B it should end with A. So this is accepted, this is accepted. What about this starting with A and ending with A is not accepted. Starting with B and ending with B not accepted. So we'll see the this one I have completed in my previous lecture that is in this this is starting with A and ending with B that means this part I have completed. You can see this video lecture to know how to construct starting with A and ends with B. Anyway, I'll explain here also. So, A and ends with B, I can have like this, I can have like this also, starting with B and ends with A. And I can have A, A, B, B like this, starting with A and ends with B. And I can have like this, B, A, A, then A like this also I can have, because it's starting with B and ends with A. Can I have like this A, B, B, something like A? No. Why? Because starting with A and ends with A. So like this I have a number of strings in this language. We'll see how to construct this one. So initially Q0. First I'll take this constraint. Anyways, the same thing like in my previous video lecture. You can see there in the question number 15. So initially Q0 to the first symbol must be A. Let us suppose if I take this constraint, the first symbol must be A and the last symbol must be B. If I take A, the last symbol must be B. So Q2, I'll take this as a final state. Now, in between, I can have any number of A's. At Q2, if I get B, any number of B's, I can accept. But if I get A here, I need to check for B to get the final state. This is what I explained. This is about ending, starting with A and ends with B. You can check for anything. Now what about this? Starting with B and ends with A. So here I'll take one more state that is Q3 where it is starting with B because this is quite, this is quite reverse of this one. That's why simply, of course I can do and the logic is just reverse this one like just replace A with B and B with A. You will get this answer. So b starting with b after that ending symbol is a here q4 which will be final state and here self loop any number of b's you will get and here if i get a self loop if i get b i need to check for a so now you can see whatever here if i write a here i have written b you can see here now you can check it out this is starting with a and ends with b this is starting with b and ends with a any type of strings which are starting with and ending with different symbol will be accepted. Anyway, you can have more than one final state in a DFA. So that is also accepted and you can check for DFA constraint. Q0 to A, it is there. Q0 to B, yes. Q1 to A, yes there. Q1 to B. Q2 to A, Q2 to B. Now Q3 to A is there. Q3 to B, yes. Q4 to A, Q4 to B. So like this you can solve the questions when it is asked for starting and ending with different symbol and if it is asked starting with A and ending with B you can see previous question. So we will see some more questions in the next video lecture. Thank you.